morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching my money as far as I can. Um, and today I thought I'd make, do a vlog. And every time so far that I've decided to uh, record a vlog, something's gone wrong. <laughs> or come along unexpectedly. And today it's a poorly chicken. So I've been in and out. Um, sorting out a chicken who's gone lame overnight. I think it's they've had an injury in the wind of Storm Eunice. So I've brought her in to um, give her a break from the wind, immobilise her a little bit and see how she does overnight so we can keep an eye on her in the house. I'll show you. So here we are. This is Chicken Hospital. We have a, a decent sized dog crate. You can see she's having to use her wings to stabilise herself. I think she's injured her left leg. I have spoken to the vet and we're just going to keep an eye on her today and if she needs to see a vet we'll take her tomorrow. She might need some pain relief and might need strapping up. But for now we've just um, brought her into the house to keep her away from the wind, help prevent further injury and just keep an eye on her, bless her. And she's got some nice fresh sprouts in there to eat as well as her normal food. Hi everyone. Well I'm out and about. Um, I'm actually at my favourite shop, at the company shop I've just pulled up. Um, between nursing a poorly chicken this morning and arriving here I've been and visited um, with Joe for a little bit and we've done a bit of crochet um, the light seems very odd in here sorry about that and now I'm over here to top up my freezers at the company shop and when I get home I'll show you what I've bought so I'm back from the company shop and uh, today's flown by, I haven't got my camera out nearly as much as I planned to. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I bought and tell you how much it came to. So this is all in a bit of disarray because I've arrived home quite close to tea time. And um, so I'm hurrying and I'm also hurrying to get stuff into the freezer. So let me show you what I've bought. So I've got three packs of cooked ham. They were 75 pence each. Two packs of blue cheese slices. Um, we're going to have burgers for tea tonight, also from the company shop, so I thought they would be nice. And they were a pound a pack. So we'll eat one tonight and freeze the other. These are some uh, Marks and Spencer's pork sausages, and they were two pounds a pack. I've got two. Um, I've got some Greek feta cheese which was a pound some chicken sausages which were £1.95 um, Marks and Spencer's chicken steaks in breadcrumbs there's four in there so that will do as one full meal and that was £2.50 then I've got two packs of almost half a kilo of organic chicken thigh fillets and they were three pounds each. They had been 441 in Marks and Spencer's. It's not a massive reduction and I did feel today that the prices have gone up a bit even in the company shop. But three pounds for six organic chicken thighs is really good. Got a pack of Nature Valley Crunchy Canadian Maple Syrup cereal bars for £1.43 and there are 10 bars in there. Um, you get two in a little pack, so five packs of two. And then I've got four packs of these Tesco Finest Chicken Thighs and Drumsticks. They're British Free Range and they were Four thirty in Tesco's and they were two fifty in the company shop. So I've got four of those. I've got one pack of these cheese and onion quarter pounder beef burgers. They were one pound twenty-five for four. 
five wild Alaskan salmon fillets. These are frozen and they were two seventy five for the pack. I got two of these tofu crispy bites, spicy crispy bites, and they were in the freezer and they were a pound a pack. And back here you can see I've got um, three packs of Mr Kipling lemon and raspberry mini Battenbergs and they were 50 pence a pack. And I've got two of these bags of mini chocolate digestive biscuits and they were, so two packs and they were a pound a pack. So I'm just going to pack this lot away, get the frozen stuff in the freezer. It'll make a bit of space and then I can show you the rest. Right, so I've had a bit of a clear up and put some things in the freezer. So now let's go with part two and I think I can show you all the rest of it all in one go now. So I got six packs of reduced salt back bacon unsmoked and they were 75 pence each which is fantastic. Um, I got some Ocado British chicken tikka breast pieces for 170. Two more packs of ham which had been lost in the piles of other stuff. They were 75 pence each. Lots of this will get frozen and used over the next few weeks. I've got some cooked chicken sliced roast breast that was £1.40 and two packs of again sliced cooked chicken breast and they were £2 per pack. Um, these um, breaded chicken goujons were £2.25 but, and that's four, that's a really big, that's 540 grams um, which is great. This is one of our best buys today, which is some lovely looking um, pesto. And these jars are all in date till 2023. And they were 30 pence each. So I got six of those maxed out on those. And I got one of these because um, one of my sons particularly isn't keen if I change the type of pesto we use. And just in case he's not keen on this, I got one of these. This was 150 and it's something like 280 in Tesco's or Asda. I got two, uh, what size are these? 625ml fairy washing up liquids. They were £1.50 each. Four tubs of caramelised onion cheese spread. They were 30p each and they last about five seconds in our house. <laughs> packet of little sweet gem lettuce they were 50 pence and these burgers which we're going to have for tea with the um, sliced blue cheese those of us that want the blue cheese these were two pounds um, they're yeah two pounds from M&S again and they're low fat the cucumbers which are huge it was a really good deal on those they were 50 pence each and I've got two cauliflowers which were 80 pence each. That one's got an 80p tattoo look. Um, I got a tube of Pringles which are usually 2 99 as you can see and they were 150. Got two tins of chicken noodle soup for the lads to help themselves to in the middle of the night if they're hungry and they were 45 pence each. Got four tins of chopped tomatoes in tomato juice they were 35 pence each and three bottles of no added sugar double concentrate apple and blackcurrant squash or cordial um, and these were 50 pence each which was a great deal I have a sweetheart cabbage just a little one but it was 25p um, this pineapple was 80 pence got some sugar snap peas for 50 pence and while I'm doing the veggies we've got uh, two organic avocados and they were 50p for the pack six peppers they're all on the way out so we'll eat those quite quickly but they were six for 75 pence and under here we've got a white cabbage which was 48 pence I'll use that and some onion and some carrot to make some coleslaw. 
Um, now over here we've got a small gammon joint which was 3.89, and two packs of gammon sticks that were one pound fifty each. I have a huge two kilo tub of flora plant-based spread and that was four pounds a can of squirty cream that was 50 pence a 375 gram box of rice krispies that was 175 and last but not least nine um, oh, toilet rolls for £2.80 so that was everything and this will last us quite a while obviously no milk um, if you've watched my videos before you know that um, we get our milk delivered to the door by the milkman and we have eggs from our chickens so all of this um, so we don't need to buy milk um, we have lots of things still in the cupboard so this should last us a really long time but loads of rice um, we've got some pasta and some noodles not a great deal but some um, we have potatoes and other veggies in the fridge and a lot now of proteins of different kinds in the freezer um, I'll do a meal plan from this and I'll come back and show you that just wanted to show you that um, Shelby was making quite a lot of noise and I've just popped in and found this. Alright, it's really blowy out. My hair's gone all over the place. <laughs> As usual, it does what it wants. Um, so I'm just heading out to drop a parcel at the post box, at the um, Hermes Courier um, drop-off point and while I'm out I've realised I've run out of foam wrap which I use to wrap things up that are delicate that I send off in the post and there's a company um, nearby who offer for people to be able to take clean packaging out of a clean skip that they put it all in it's just it just has packaging in it um, and they usually have big bundles of foam wrap that have been used once so um, I'm going to go along there and see if I can pick some up to um, be able to use seeing as I've run out of the foam wrap that I've bought I'll bring you along Oh, well that was all a bit different to usual the skip had moved and uh, but I managed to find a member of staff and ask them where it was and if it was still okay for me to take some foam wrap so I just thought I'd quickly show you what I've got so they, they just receive goods in it and um, and then they don't have any other use for it so they bundle it up like this 
and put it all in a skip. I mean the skip is absolutely full to the top but there's no sense me taking tons because I won't use it all very quickly and there'll still be some there. I just checked with him because it's in a fenced off area now. So I just checked with him, am I still okay to go in there and, and take some when I need some as long as I make sure the gate's shut and he was perfectly fine with that so um, there we go, some free packaging that would otherwise go into landfill. So I've taken the um, grocery shopping that I did at the company shop and made a three weeks menu plan from it. Um, I do just need to say we have a slightly, um, oh you'll be aware I have a slightly injured chicken in the house and I'm in the same room as her and she's a bit chatty at times so you might hear her in the background. She's doing fine, she's doing really well actually, seems to be improving so that's good. So, um, this is my menu plan and I've got 21 evening meals plus lots of lunches and some breakfasts out of this. But I'm just going to show you my evening meals. So, um, I will actually, I'll show you that I spent £92.30. and pence. So, this, uh, because it's going to last us three weeks, certainly for evening meals, is about just over £30 a week. So, um, we've got salmon with veggies and rice, tofu spicy bites, which we haven't tried before, but they look nice. I've got two packs of those because I think each pack will feed two of us. They're quite small packs. Um, so we'll have those and I'll make some lentil dal with them. Um, chicken breast steak sandwiches or butties in salad with some salad sausage pasta pesto um, so we had blue cheese burgers with salad and pringles last night for tea they were delicious um, I'll do a roast chicken dinner with a lot of chicken I've got six packs all together each pack will do a, one meal plus extra the bigger packs will do as two meals so there's quite a lot of chicken on this menu <laughs> Uh, roast chicken dinner, chicken and bacon salad, gammon with egg and chips. I've got two packs of gammon steaks which I'll use for this and then later on um, I'll be using a gammon joint. Chicken, egg and fried, uh, chicken with egg and fried rice, so no I say that properly Tess. Chicken fried rice but it's also going to have egg in it. <laughs> chicken, egg, fried rice. Uh, roast chicken with feta salad and I'll do some pasta pesto as a salad on the side. Sausage, egg and beans. Cheese and onion quarter pounders with fried rice. Sausage, chicken and veggies. Um, that will be for tea tonight. Uh, bacon and egg pie with chips. Bacon and egg pie is what my mum used to call quiche. But I will probably do it crustless. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. I'll do some breaded chicken goujon wraps with salad, gammon roast dinner, teriyaki chicken and noodles or rice, I'm not sure yet. We've got both in so we could choose on the day. Chicken and lentil curry with rice. Um, and then I remembered that in all of this we're definitely going to have at least two picky teas where we eat leftovers and we all have different things. And um, also my husband usually makes pizza, homemade pizza once a week. So I've just added pizza in. So, I mean, this is likely to last a little bit longer than three weeks for our evening meals. But um, this is what I've put together that I know for sure we will have. We won't have them in any particular order. As you can see, we've already started at number five. <laughs> and we're having number 13 tonight for tea <laughs> but in addition to this we've got all that um, cooked sliced ham we've got cheese um, cooked chicken breast 
uh, there's a lot of other protein that we will eat at lunches. Um, we've got a lot of bacon, we've got our own eggs. So there's plenty here. I think we'll just need to get more salad because I've planned quite a few salad meals and I'll need to buy bread. But other than that, this is three weeks of groceries for 92.30. Um, so I've, because I had an opportunity to go to the company shop yesterday, um, I went and I, I had £39 left of February's budget, which obviously I've spent a lot more than that. However, because each week this breaks down to 30, just over £30, um, and this will last us way beyond the end of February, probably halfway through March as well, um, I'm only going to count a third of this from my um, February budget, and I'll take the rest off my March budget. So um, it will all come off the appropriate budgets, but I had to take the opportunity to go because it's not too close by. Um, so when I go, I need to make it worthwhile to, because I've used some diesel to get there, basically. So there we go. That's my three-week menu plan from the grocery shop that I did yesterday. So... Um, I've been spending quite a lot of time quilting. Sorry, can't thread a needle and speak at the same time, obviously. <laughs> um, and so I just thought I'd pop a little bit of that in to this vlog because it's it's what I'm spending a lot of time doing when I can in between doing everything else doing all the jobs that I need to do and um, making tea and going to work and listing on eBay and all those things um, and it would be strange not to include it because I'm spending quite a lot of time doing it I know quilting isn't something that interests everybody who watches so I won't include a lot but while I'm just getting my machine ready because when I where I left it last night um, I'd, my bobbin had run out of, uh, had come loose um, and I was too tired to deal with it because <laughs> I was doing some quilting after everything else I'd done that day and so I left it and I thought well I'm just getting it ready I'll explain to you um, that this is quite a bitty video I'm sorry about that I meant to film a lot more yesterday than I ended up filming and um, and I just didn't <laughs> I just didn't think to take the camera out and when I was at Joe's we just talk and um, I don't always think to film and sometimes it feels like a bit of an interruption because we're just talking and talking um, and we didn't have a lot of time yesterday um, so uh, yeah it might seem a little bit bitty um, sorry there's somebody at the door sorry about that <laughs> um, we were given a cat tree on a Facebook group and our cat hasn't used it so we've just given it away to somebody else so we're just coming to pick it up. So yeah, um, it's been a bit bitty but I thought I'd just string it all together and try and make sense of it for you um, and it'll just give you a glimpse into a couple of days in my life and all the things I do that are cheap or free or just plain fun. <laughs> so um, for those of you that are interested in the quilting part, um, I had planned on hand quilting this video um, and I did start but I wasn't very good at it <laughs> so and that's fine I don't mind. With practice I would probably improve but um, I've decided to 
machine quilt it as much as I can on my little domestic sewing machine which is really hard work so I'm just doing a bit at a time and I'll show you now I have to roll it up because obviously the quilt's really wide so I have to roll it up to get it to go through here and I, I've got a very small sewing table so I have to roll it up to fit it all so the table is taking the weight of it while I'm sewing it um, so it's not easy and it makes my back ache if I do it for too long and it's on, it's hard on your shoulders as well um, but I'll show you right now how I do that so I've got it already rolled and I need to get it through the machine so that my needle is at the point where I stopped last night which is quite a way through obviously my bobbin thread ran out just as I was at the end of a row <laughs> um, that I was stitching so I'm just stitching in the ditch or relatively close to the ditch <laughs> I am no expert sewer and um, stitching in the ditch means that I'm stitching in along the seams of the fabric so I'm stitching along here and then when I've done that I'll stitch along here where the two pieces of fabric meet so that the stitches are kind of semi hidden they're not really not if you sew like I do <laughs> so that's about where I stopped last night. I'll go a little bit further actually. So there's such a bulk of fabric to get through. So I'm just going to put my needle down and then finish up to here where the next border runs along. And then I'm going to go and do the whole of that side as well. So I've got to the end of that, I'm just going to pull it all the way through and then cut off the threads. You can see there's quite a lot of fabric and so I'm having to sew through, as you do when you're quilting, um, the backing, the top and whatever you've got in the middle is wadding here I've got an old wool blanket so now I'm going to go back through to my next start position it's just heavy that's that's all it is really and big and I couldn't I don't think manage anything fancy I have done a free motion quilting workshop um, which I've really enjoyed and so if it was smaller I might do a bit of free motion quilting on this machine but I could not manage that with this weight and bulk of fabric at all unfortunately <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm starting in the middle of the quilt <laughs> So this little blue patch that's underneath the foot now, that is the centre of the quilt and I'm stitching out in each direction so that the fabric is pushed out to the edges flat because I don't want to sew in and then find there's a big lump of fabric in the middle if that makes sense. So I'm keeping everything as flat as I can. Put my needle down. I'll stitch forwards and then back a couple of stitches just to anchor my thread. And then forwards and off I go. I'm going to go all the way down this line to the edge. 
making sure that I can feel that the backing and the wadding are flat. Ta-da! <laughs> All done. So I'm going to lift the foot and pull it all through. So there you go. You can see I've stitched in the ditch down each side. So this stitching is holding together all three layers of the quilt. So there we go. That's a uh, look at what I've been up to over the last, some of what I've been up to over the last couple of days. Um, all patchworked together for you in the shape of a vlog. <laughs> um, I hope that's not been too confusing and that it's been interesting for you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I can hear Shelby, so I don't know if you can hear her. She's truling away quite happily. Um, she just seemed to be improving, so that's a good thing. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will catch you all again really soon. Have a chat with me in the comments below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.